Hi. In this video, we're going to discuss about how we can find ratio of area of triangles in a vector question. When you're given a question on um, ratio of area in vector, do a first check. Are the two triangles involved similar? If they are, great. You can move on to apply the concept on finding um, the ratio of the area using similar triangle property. If they are not, just like in this question, then we got to move on and use strategy number two, which I term it finding the common base or common height. Let's take a look at this diagram over here. Now, at one look at the two triangles involved, there it it it, it seems like there is no common base or common height if you actually look at it this way. Now to help you, today I'm going to give you a trick. What you can do is turn your paper around. I'm going to show you how I do that. Turn your paper around. This will help you in identifying your common base and common height. If you zoom in on the two triangles that we are talking about right here, let me just highlight the two triangle. You have a small one over here. And the big one. Now, what happened right now is, if you look at the question, we are given a little clue here. DE to EB is 1 is to 2. So 1 is to 2. So what happened right now is this is a hint and all for us to carry on this question. If you notice something, the base of this small triangle, we can take it to be DE. And the base for your big triangle, you can take it to be your DB. And where is the height? This is where your height is. And this height is common for both the small triangle and the big one. So coming back to the question, to find the ratio of these two triangles, we make use of this classic formula, half times base times height over half times base times height. We can cancel away the common things like half and your height. So we should leave us to find the ratio of the bases, DE over DB. And if you go back to the diagram, DE, one unit, DB has a total of three units. And this is how you get the ratio of the area. Now let's move on to part B of this question. Find the ratio of area triangle BCD. B, C, D, and A, B, D. At one look, are they similar? No. Do they have common base or height? Well, take a look at the clue in this question, again, if you look carefully, read carefully, you see, we have a little clue here. BC is equal to 3 5 AD. So let me just put this information in. BC 3 5 of AD. So AD will be 5 units. Now what happened over here? If you were to take the base of these two triangles to be BC and AD respectively. What is something common that they share? If I were to extend this for you to take a look, height of this triangle will be from here to here. And this height is also the height of your triangle ABD, which means to say, half times base times height over half times base times height. Cancel away the common things. 
it comes down to ratio of their bases again, since both the triangles share the same height. So base of BCD will be BC. Base of ABD will be AD. So ratio, 3 over 5. This is how we get our answer. Now, let us take a look at the last part of this question. Find the ratio of area AED. And ratio of um, area BCD. If you were to examine this two triangle, first thing, they aren't similar. Second thing, it seems like they do not have any common base, nor common height. So, which means to say, the two strategies that I've actually shared with you so far, don't seem to work in this case. So what to do? There is one last strategy in which we call overlap. If you were to take a look at part A and part B of the question and compare it with part C, do you notice something? There is in fact an overlap of ABD in part A, ABD, and then what do you notice? Part C is asking about AED and BCD. How do we actually continue with this question then? Now, right now, this whole question is reduced to a ratio question. Whichever there's overlap, which is in this case our triangle ABD, we place it in the middle. And then the rest of the triangle, you put it either on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. And right, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up the ratio. 1 is to 3 here. And 5 is to 3. So, with this, in order for us to compare the three triangles side by side, we got to work on this overlap triangle. Because after all, they are the same triangle, so we got to make them to have the same ratio. So it becomes 5 is to 15 is to 9. And to answer this question, AED is to ABD. AED is to BCD. So, answer 5 is to 9. So, this very last strategy is what we call overlap. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me your comment or any questions that you might have. Goodbye.